guys, welcome to SimCity. I'm Accurize, and we're going to go ahead and try to put together an amazing city together. Uh, I hope you enjoy. I've done this a couple times. wasn't too happy with the cities that I had produced. So hopefully this go-around is going to be a little bit better. Alright, first thing we need to do is create our region. And, uh, I think I'll just I'll pick this region here. We'll just name it something simple. Uh, this looks pretty good. We're going to have rail and uh, shipping access. Access to quite a bit of resources. Uh, except for wind, wind, but I'm not too worried about wind at this point. So we just clean, claim that area and uh, let's get started. So first, first things first is I like to take a look and see which way the wind is blowing in order to determine where to uh, to put my uh, industrial reg regions in in you know relation to the residential and commercial areas. That way, smog doesn't blow over top of the f of residential areas. So need to check here. Looks like all the wind is blowing from the bottom of the screen to the top of the screen to the north. And next thing I like to do is I ch like to check all my resources to see where they're at. So it looks like we have a coal deposit right in the middle of the uh, region. We have a lot of ore over to the uh, right side. And we have a lot of oil over on that other side of the river. Okay, so we have a basic idea of what the region looks like both uh, just to the uh, initial ob observation of it and then also a little more in depth. So what I'm kind of thinking is I'm thinking I want to make this area through here industrial. I'll start up here at the top and expand down as needed. Um, I'll probably try to keep this area over here a little more residential and commercial and then up here when the time uh, presents itself we're going to go ahead and drill for oil up in here so let's get started first thing first is set down a few ro roads for our uh, infrastructure and I do have a I, I have a sore throat suffering from a little bit of a cold so if I'm a little raspy or anything like that, I, I apologize ahead of time. I like to try to keep these roads off the main regional road to a minimum and use secondary roads instead. And you'll see what I mean here in a, in a little bit here. Now let's not put that there. Let's put that up here. Like so. If I have my choice, I'd probably put these over here. Might still do that. Yeah. Let's go ahead and just do this. I think this will work out good. So this is going to be my industrial area up here. resident or medium sized avenue. There we go. Oh, there we go, much better. Side streets here. Let me double check that that didn't look right. There we go. Alright, so let's get some industrial areas zoned first. A good way to jumpstart your 
uh, tax base from the beginning because there's always a demand for industrial from the start. But in order to have so many industrial zones, you're going to definitely have to have a lot of uh, workers. So you're going to need some residential areas as well. And we'll get to that here in a second. And we're going to put a power plant up here also. Just need to pick what kind. And I think just for starting out, we'll just go with coal, coal and upgrade if needed. If, if needed. So we just need to find a place for this. Looks like that would be suitable. Looks like any of these areas really would be suitable. I'm thinking right about here would be just fine. We're going to save this space over here for the landfill, for sewage, uh, outflow pipes, and whatnot. It'll be up in the corner. The wind will blow it off of our map, so hopefully it keeps the annoyance to the residents to a minute. So, let's go and start building our residential area. Alright, let's see here. I'm thinking that's a good start. deficit right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and shut off our power plant to save money because right now it's costing us 450 simoleons per hour. And we don't really have that many businesses actually requiring power right now. So right now we're breaking even with our deficit. So we'll put in some uh, residential areas here real quick. And I'm going to try to keep these videos for each episode to around 10 minutes. I forgot to start my timer on this one, so I'm going to guesstimate that we're about 4 or 5 minutes in. So Let's see if we can get a residential, industrial, and a little bit of commercial zone started before the end of the first episode here. Alright, very good. Now these, as these people move in down here into these residential zones, they're going to want some places local to shop, so we want to mix in just little pockets of commercial every now and then. And then we're going to have a, a nice commercial district as our city grows, where it's going to be mainly skyscrapers and whatnot. That's the idea anyway. Anyway, so. All right. Looks like we have the uh, factories coming in nicely. We should still... should still need to expand a little bit with residential. That's not going to be enough workers to fill those factories. So let's expand the street out just a little bit. Try to do what we just did up here again. That's good enough for now. So let's. You know, I'm thinking that would be a good area for commercial, actually. All right, now I'm going to build a street across when, when we get a chance. So we are running a little bit of a surplus. It's only 45 sims per simoleons per hour, but it is a start. And as these businesses come into the area, you'll see the tax rate per hour go up.
once it gets above 450, I'm going to turn the uh, I'm going to turn the power plant back on because by that time they're going to definitely be de demanding power. All right, guys. Hope this isn't too boring for y'all. I mean, it is a slow game. If I do have to sit around and w just sit and wait for revenue to generate, you know, I'll, I'll cut that part out. But if there's any building going on at all to the city, I'm going to try to make sure that you guys are involved with that. So it looks like we have some, we could actually add some industrial areas up here. I'm liking our resident or industrial area. Looks like a solid start, and that is a key. Is uh, when you get started, is to try to figure out where you basically want to have your smoggy areas, your nasty areas, and and don't don't mix them too much with your residential and commercial areas. People don't like to have uh, go out to a bistro and sit out on a and eat a panini when there's smog and uh, jackhammers and uh, loud machinery nearby. So the other thing we're going to add in this area is a park, but not quite yet. We still just need to get our basic infrastructure down. So our, our revenue has gone up to 522 per hour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this on and we're going to see this drop by 450 as soon as I turn it on. There it goes. But at least we're still making a profit. And now people are going to be happy. See, this person was just complaining we need some power in the city. They should be getting their power right now. And you'll see the power start to come, come to life here. But they need to hire some workers also to work at the factory or at the power plant. So once it actually gets up and running, you're going to see uh, these red lines in the streets turn yellow. And that will indicate electricity being supplied. So, right now we just need to get the power plant to hire some people. It shouldn't take too long. We'll give it a couple hours here and it'll be uh, a couple hours in sim time. Speed things up here also. You have the ability to do that down here near the clock at the bottom left of the screen. So we'll put it on cheetah speed. We were on, I think, Turtle. Yeah. They have Llama and Cheetah. So we'll put it on Cheetah Speed, and looks like it's powering the city now. Looks like they hired some people. So let's see. As you can see, the, the red lines are now turning yellow. And uh, these people should be getting power shortly, and their complaints will stop. Now they need some water. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to build a water tower. That will probably be in Episode 2. So but what we can do is we can take a look at the at the water table and see uh, currently where the best places to put the water towers are. And the darker the blue, the better. So any of these areas would be good good spots for water water towers. And we'll probably just put it down here somewhere out of the way. All right, guys. Well, that concludes episode one, and I'll see you on episode two. We'll work on getting the water tower going, maybe put down a park, and uh, I'd like to get a fire station up right away because we will have an outbreak of fires eventually, and they can take down entire blocks, and people don't like having their businesses and homes burned uh, to the ground. So I'll see you in episode two, guys.